Hi, chat. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Thought Squad. <laughs> Whoever. Well, I tried. I really did. Tried all day to stay away. And be good. Not play Metroid Dread until Monday. But. Well. <sighs> it's just too good. I really need to play it. <laughs> um, that said, I, I was productive with my, my day. Like, I'm not just... I'm not just playing this to pass the time or to get away with not doing things or whatever, right? I, I did my homework, did my Japanese homework for my class tomorrow. I did, like, half of a playlist of some Unity tutorials including making some silly mini games and whatnot. And I even came up with, uh, I went for a walk in the woods. I had uh, some really good ideas, so I'll, I'll tell you about that, I suppose. But <sighs> watching watching Let's Plays of Dread, it wasn't enough to sate me. You know, I think before last week before or the week before I got this game, I talked about how I wasn't going to be able to watch one of my favorite streamers play through the game because it would spoil too much but you know his first video is only like two and a half or three hours long ish and so i went ahead and i watched that because i'm past the point where he was right and figured that hey you know i can i could probably deal with this right all it did it didn't it had the opposite effect i wanted it to just like sate me and make it so that i didn't like feel the urge to go and do this but um instead here i am wanting to play more so i figured that we'd run around do a couple fun things maybe look around for this and like we're so so close to that one speed thing right there you just you gotta do it right like i'm not the only one who thinks this Oh, well, I guess we can go this way. It's the more boring way, but... Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Gotta, gotta get better about this. So, I hope that your weekend has been going well. Because it is Sunday when I am streaming this. And I've had a, I've had a pretty nice one so far. I went for a really nice walk in the woods and, you know, had some nice introspective quiet time and it was just, it was really nice and I actually came up with an idea for a game that I'm going to attempt to make once I finish all these things, all these tutorials that I have and stuff. So, you know, maybe I'm doing myself a little bit of a disservice by playing this now, right, instead of going through that, but pacing, right? That's important. But I mean, it's it's either play this or like <laughs> just look longingly at my switch and eat pudding. So it's got to it's got to be this. It's hard to keep away. This is really fun. Like I like playing Metroidvanias. Any anyone who's come by the streams before knows this. And um, you know, you really I'm trying to savor this for as long as possible but I really <laughs> I can't keep myself too far away from it you know okay so we can probably yeah okay I see how to do it okay so we're gonna start dashing over here Oops. Okay. so if we get the dash going here we probably should initiate it Oh, or maybe not. Okay. Hmm. So maybe... Where's a longer bit? Down here, obviously, but that's not gonna... It's not gonna do much for us. Unless, like, secretly this stuff is a boost, but... Because I was thinking we would run through and then do some jumps. We lose our speed boost. Do we, do we lose our speed booster if we jump? We do. Hmm. I 
Are we sure this isn't speed booster? Cause see, you see how this is that and this is that? The, the colors are the same? Makes me wonder if there's some intention there. Same here, right? Because how long can you hold it actually? Hold on. How long can you actually hold a, a boost once you have it? Not that long. But what if. Hold on. So the moment we kind of stop there. But if we do this. Oh, we're holding it. Oh! Oh wow, we can hold that for a long time. Alright, hold on. New plan. We just have to knock it hit. Oh, oh it's gone. Okay, so not... We don't have that much time. But we do have a decent amount of time. Maybe... Could we roll through? Or do we lose it from the roll as well? Yeah. Oops, I forgot to press down. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh! So close. Hold on. We got this. I think. If I press the down button closer, right here, and then slip under, and then. Hmm. Like, obviously, if we get the. If the speed ball exists. Then we can do that, right? And that would be like a way easier way to do this. But, uh, you know. <laughs> a little stubborn. Also, I do wonder if there's like a path through. Feels like we should be able to do it without though, because there's enough like little like, mini straightaways, you know. Like, none of these are actually long enough. But, like that part right there definitely is. It's just a question of is it faster to go through here and then try to jump our way up, or is it better to go through here and then try to jump our way up? My my instincts tell me that it would be easier to do it from here. But also, uh, I really suck. So, I'm also like, I mean, nope, not quite. How much space do you actually need for it? I mean, obviously, more than we have there, right? But, like, can we do it just from here? Yes, we can, actually. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Getting close. There's also, um... Well, let me try one more. can't keep it through that. But that said, I remember like one of the times, the first time we used it, right? So you can, like as a ball, she keeps the purple, which is great. But... Like if I... Okay. So it's just that. Haven't I, like the first time I got it though, didn't I use the ball and like bounce around? 
like while in boost mode. Really close time. Whoops. And boop. It's a little bit easier, I suppose, to do it. So the moment I press, can oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to do it. Um, because you can aim it right, it's not just only, it's not only diagonally up, right? Or up, right? Like if I do this, yeah, we can do it diagonally. So if I can get to that one place, you know, where we can kind of get an angle at it, then perhaps, oh boy, perhaps then uh, we can get it. So like if I can get up to here, jump and press it, then we can angle it and probably bust through those. The heck? Let's have to remove move the garbage again real quick. But I don't think it's impossible. So we need, we need some more attempts here. Oops. Nope. Okay, we're gonna run out of way too early, but. Try it anyway. No. Okay. Could also try it the other the other way, I guess, technically, but good. <laughs> go on. And down. Go, 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 go. Ah. I really want to do this. <laughs> I feel like I can do this. That's that's the that's the problem, I guess, is that I think that I can. I don't actually. I forget. Can you can you only boost one? Hold on. Find something. Okay, yeah. So I, I can't like double up. I was thinking it's like, well, if I got to the top and then boosted to the side, uh, going that far sets them all though. So that's no good. Let me just go take care of these. They're not in the wet. No. Okay. I think that we can, because I did, I managed to get to that one point before. So, I know we can do it. It's just a matter of doing it. Go, 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 not as a ball. Yes. And, ah! Also, can I do it in the air? I can, right? <laughs> oh no! I pressed the wrong direction. Kind of the wrong place too, but wrong direction all the same. Go, Sam. Let's go. And I don't think you can do it in the air. Uh. Uh, it's gonna ruin things. Yeah, no, you can't. You have to do it from the ground. Okay. Is there an indicator at all about the boost running out? Like Aeon or anything else? No, right? Whoops. Of course I didn't start it. Go, Samus, go. Go, Samus, go. Go. Not. Okay, not like that. Wait, what if I do what if I do this thing? Can I do that while I have the boost on? Oh, I have questions. So if I have this on, I get the boost. 
Oh, I keep it. Oh, we can use that to move faster. And then... Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, got an idea. You know where I'm going with this. Get it, go, get it, go, get it, go. Oh, I don't have to press down again. There, that's why. Oh god, oh god. If this works, I'm gonna be so excited. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if this is worth it. It's probably just like a missile tank. Oh shoot. I'm not being this. Oh, hold on, that was really close. Ready? No, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, you know what? Here, let's restart. I need to be shooting when I do this. Oops, I didn't enable the boost. Okay, go! <gasps> ooh! Ooh, I can slide... Okay, okay, not really what I wanted to do, but discover something new. We can slide through while the boost is active, which I, I guess I should have realized we can do. But we pretty much lose it right away, or is it because I jumped? Oops. Hold on. Okay, well, that's that's fine too. Also garbage. Garbage day. Like if I could if I could start the boost down there and give us additional time, it should be even better. I'm not trying to do this perfectly, I'm just trying to maximize our ability to, uh, you know, get where we want to be. And that was not it. So how did I do that the first time? Because I definitely went purple at the end there. I jumped. God damn it. <laughs> I hadn't jumped. Uh, oops. Not entirely sure what happened there. Is it pressing L? Or holding L? Nope, shoot. If you just press B without doing a direction, it triggers it. So, not ideal. Damn you! Yeah. Go, go, go! So I have to be constantly pressing. No! Wait, but why? Didn't I press the right button? But I can do diagonal. Why are you all spawning back? Get out of here. Not allowed to live. This is Samus's exciting, like, speed booster zone. We need to cease. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? So, hold on. Hold on. So, get the thing right, and then... Oh. That's what. Hold on. Get the thing. Go through. Cry a little bit, because we just wasted it. But also, um, I have to, it's after you press it. Like, after you trigger it. Uh, I should probably go kill the other stuff. Right? Oh, damn, maybe there's not other stuff. We got this. I know this is the the thrill that you want from your Metroid Dread streams, right? That time I really don't know what happened. Like I I mean obviously she jumped. I I didn't think I pressed the up button though. Ooh, good, good, good start. Go. Yes! Fucking win. It took 20 minutes, but I don't care.
That is two missile tanks worth getting. All right, great. Is there anything else in guitars that I should be trying to get? Oh man, there's these bomb blocks. That's pretty close. Where's the nearest save though? I don't ever want to have to do that again until I start a new save. Um... Ooh, actually, hello. Let's go to this one. Cool. We're gonna get like a different item later on. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you should just use this to get that really easy. And I'm going to laugh. This is not the way. Though it could be. Wait, how do we get how do we get outside of this? There's a way, right? Or no. Maybe not. Alright, hold on. Okay. Save real quick. <sighs> also, I was playing Celeste uh, yesterday morning. Yeah, yesterday morning. And, um,. And I, I tried the Summit's Golden Berry. And I got to 500 meters, which, you know, it's just the first checkpoint, but it was nice. I, I got that far, so I felt relatively happy. But then I died like three screens later. So it is what it is, of course. But I'm, I'm working on it. Still trying to do the resort, really. I, I just tried to summit to, to mix things up a little bit. That's the way I want. Yes. So there is a sub top there. Nonsense awaits me in this area. That's the question. Oh, it's it's another one of these things. So wait, can I? Hmm. There's a beam block. Uh, maybe I can like dislodge it with a bomb. Yes. Ah, ha ha ha! I see. Okay. Tricky, tricky. I I get it. So, come on, spawn, spawn the one beneath me, please. Okay, so first, get rid of this. <laughs> right thing, wrong. So many buttons. Okay, Samus. Okay, so, we bust open all of these, then destroy all of these, and then it's supposed to pull it down. bit at a time. Uh, there we go. Hello, unknown thing. I have three of these things now. No idea what, they, what they're for, but I'm going to keep collecting them. No extra special stuff here. Huh? Okay. okay, cool. So that's cool. 
while I'm over here. Is there... There's a section over here that I didn't really get to explore before. Possibly due to some stuff. So we could try to go over there. See if we can get anything else. Also like a suspicious thing right there. But that, I think that's lava? Yeah. This is lava, isn't it? So I probably can't do anything about that. But I'll, I'll go check out uh, the bit over there. Probably just want to go use the safe point real quick though. God, Stamus, you're so fucking cool. <laughs> just casually wrecking people on your way through. I've I really liked the characterization of Samus so far in this one. Like, it's mostly told in her body language, right? Because she doesn't really talk that much, unlike other M. But she's just like so calm and collected and cool, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> you know? Like that's that's the sense I get. Not that um like a lot of people complain about other M, and I get it. I I didn't hate other M as much as other people did. Like, it's laughable in a lot of ways, right? But I didn't think it was like that bad of a game. It definitely had issues, but... Right, so wait, this is what it's mad about. Power bombs. Okay, pretty sure. I want to go there. And also there's another thing. Uh, you know, actually, is there enough room to speed right there? No. There could be enough to... I wonder if it breaks pitfalls. Hold on. Oh. Mm, actually, no, it's fine. Okay, it's not gonna work, but... That's what I thought was... What I thought was speed up and then use another speedy dash to get up and over. But the, the lava here is kind of going to make that tricky. Now is there... Don't fall down. Famous. 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 Climb, woman. Thank you. Okay. Nothing I can grab onto, unfortunately. So maybe this... Maybe this is for a double jump. Like, I have to get the, the boots first. This fucker. Come here. I'm, I'm tired of you. I want to murder you. There. Okay. Yep. If I could get a boost pretty much anywhere else. Although, who knows? Maybe that could be... Actually, is this enough thing? Also, there's a secret over here. Uh, you know, we're right here. Let me let me go check out the secret before we go fiddle around again. Try to remember what it is. Oh, wait, is it this? If it is, it's a very shitty secret. Oh wait, down there. Right down here, right? Oh, hello. Da 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 I don't have any. It's not playing music for me, so. Amazing, like, like I mean, Samus has all of these abilities, right? And like Super Metroid and other places, 
I feel like I didn't quite struggle as much, like keeping them all straight, like pressing the right button at the right time and everything. But I feel like I have a little bit more. Two more problems with this. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm really. Switch controls are just confusing to me, I guess. Is it dead? I don't think it's dead. Hmm. See, doesn't it feels like I should be able to do a uh, like, you know, power boost? Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, I know how to get there. I'm an idiot. We have another ability. Hold on, hold on. I got this. Pow! that there's no, no blocks at all here. Maybe something releases it? Oh, here comes the meat. How kind. Also, is there... There's nothing to grab on up to with the grappling ring. Not that I can see. So how do you... Is it actually within ten wall jumping? No. Doesn't feel like it anyway. What if you hold on? No, not fast enough. I was gonna say, what if we morph ball ball? Morph ball bounce. At the at the very top. Like you do that and then go from there. It'd be hard to do. Because you'd have to like fall down and do this, but I mean theoretically maybe possible. Also, I could have sworn, like, back in the day, or at least in Prime, you kind of time these things so you could, like, get infinite height. Or not infinite, but, like, you could do it pretty well. Like, you do, like, this, I think. No. That, 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 that. Like, that kind of bull. <laughs> that kind of bullshit. Yeah, like that. Oh god. I love me. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies for the uh, like evil laugh. <laughs> Just so pleased when something actually works like that. Hmm. I should have uh, unrolled maybe. Oh, so this leads over there, right? <laughs> Got it! Cool. Beautiful. I am so pleased with myself right now. Okay, so that's great. Um, can't go down there, right? This is lava? What was keeping us from going through here? Probably more power blocks, right? Or, or just straight up lava. Orange is lava? Yeah, that's the same color as lava. So none of that. Um, is there anything else we should try to get in Cataris? Also, I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was watching the Vine Sauce episode one playthrough of Dread, and Adam says, this is blinking. Adam says Cataris, not a, uh, not Cotterus, or however it is like. Oh, I still need this. Hmm, okay, we can go down there. Uh, probably the best way to get there is maybe... This way? I, I, I want to hit the uh, save as well. So... Yeah, so I'll, I'll go save over here, even though it's like, slightly... Slightly out of the way. Oh, that's not connected, so we can go. Oh, 
Wait, is it the top one? No, it's not the top one. Save. 107 missiles. I feel good about this. <laughs> Wonder... I forget what the maximum amount of missiles in um, time was. Down here, okay. Go down there, we'll also go up there. So we should head... Well, we could do it through the enemy area. Probably could just go through there. Get a save point on the way. Yeah, okay. Should be straightforward. Nightmark Caverns is still like going through my head randomly for no good reason. Man, we could totally get some speed booster action here. There's no reason to, mind you, but just because it's fun. Destroy! <laughs> Hot kite. What we? Oh hi! Wait, hold on. What's this missile tank doing here? That's right, letting me get it. Thank you. Close thermal door noted. But also more ball launcher. Hmm. More ball launcher, you'd say. Now is it the? It's not an exit either. It's the actual launcher. Uh, uh, can I? Okay. Weird. Hmm. Okay, we have a problem. There's that, but we don't have a problem because of. Launchers up here. Oh yeah, we can probably get on that. Hello. Where does it lead us? Cool. Horrible screen. Actually, well, actually, not that bad. Just puts us on the other side. It's not a bad thing. And it actually is where I wanted to go, so. Okay, so I think. Yeah, we're in the shiny area now. So, um. Honestly, thinking speed booster somewhere, but oh, it's this area. That's a little suspicious. No. Do rockets actually damage these? They're, it's flashing. So, yes. Great. All right, hold on. Hold. Hold the phone. Like, doesn't that doesn't that feel like a thing? Even though it's not technically like what is talking about with the map. So it's within this section. Bigger, you know, might as well do that. There's also Oh, hello. Uh that that's this. Maybe? No, wait, what is that? It is an unknown thing, okay. I probably already knew this, I guess. Just checking. Okay, so can't do that yet, but at least we have it on the map now, so we know that that's the reason this is blinking, probably. Uh, that missile is up over this way. <laughs> it's just funny to see the booster go up, and then all of a sudden she just doesn't move. Hi. Wow, didn't think that would actually hit. 
I do like the, the Aeon thing, I just remember to actually use it. Okay, so that's a missile that you probably get to from this screen, right? Yes. Ow, fuck off. I'm busy thinking. Okay, that's that's really easy actually. I just didn't have the morph ball before. Right. Can I parry these? Mm. Also, I suppose we needed this thing in order to break through stuff because we couldn't actually unroll to attack before. Bam. 111. Cool. Destroyed. Oh, we can go get this, maybe. Big maybe. That's This is where Kraid was, right? Yeah. Still intrigued by these, though. Could I get back there if I... I tried. Oh, there's stuff here. Well, it's probably just in the lava. But we're pretty close to it. Could I get there? It's a big maybe. Red tele. No, that's an animal. That's a red teleport. Hmm. I really want to use those morph ball launchers, that's all. Oh boy. Ow. Tiny. Tiny fuck off, thank you. So since I can go back here, and I can recharge my energy whenever I want. Wait. This isn't a... Oh, this is a teleport. No. My bad. Uh, purple. Neat. Okay, but not yet. a thing over there. From the other room you can shoot it, it looks like. Or maybe... So like, this thing doesn't reach that far through, so I can't explode that yet, but there is a thing here, even though it's not blinking. But this is blinking, so that probably is what connects through that. thing that I want. Don't suppose there's anything that's top through, huh? lava hurt us? Could, could we theoretically get far enough? Actually, can I... 50. 15. Wow. Um... Also, that this probably connects up to there. It is deep enough that I probably can. Ah, damn it. Man. <laughs> if I want to do that, I... I... If I want to get to that Morph Ball Launcher, we need to take it from the other side. Which we can do through the, that thing. And through the red teleport. That wasn't totally crazy. But, but we have, if, we went, if we go to green, 
then we can get over there. So I'll, I'll give up on getting this, but how can I give up yet on everything else? Oh shoot, I keep thinking that this is an energy recharge. But in case you're wondering why I keep stepping on it. Like the, the purple shiny thing makes me think, ah yes, of course. You know? No, that's not what I want you to do, Samus. I need to grab it and then go. Anything. Can I, yeah, can I just short, short, short circuit this actually by just doing this? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Wait, wait, why am I doing this? I am an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes you just like start going up a path, you know? Green. Wait, how did that just go, go away? How did that hit that? I really do want to just like get right there. make our lives a teensy bit easier. Great. Wait. Okay. Right, right. Sure. Sure. Easy does it. I understand your sensitive. Oh god. Get to the other side of Crate's thing now. What is this? Energy? Missile? Missile. Uh, actually, since we're about to go near a bunch of lava, why don't we save first? That would be a smart thing to do, right? I know that it's useless to shoot them, but I just, I, I just like to do that. So don't hit me too much. Oh boy. Ow. 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 Okay, so if I want to check out that thing. I'll get it this way. Although I, th I do think that it's just the, uh, the other thing, so it's probably not worth exploring up this way, but I'll do it anyway. Just in case, because I could be wrong, you know, that could be something else. Oh no, it's this. So what is, what's, oh it's just a shortcut. Okay, so nothing fancy. 
but I mean, that is. That is clearly something fancy right there. Though it's it's a block, so I don't know if our bombs will actually do it, because theoretically I could hop in there. You know, just be like, hey, how's it going? Worth it. Don't find the horrible lava, Samus. Doesn't this look like it's going to eat me? Like something out of, um... What was the name of that game? The game where you played as dirt. Oh, Grime. Or even Hollow Knight, actually. I suppose this is just like Crate's mouth. Like, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Oh, oh no! They blocked it off! Oh, you bastards. Man, that's lame. I wanted to get down to that morph ball launcher. <sighs> you gotta do me like that. Alright, well, at least they gave us a shortcut to get back. Could have been worse. Any hoodles. So that's good, that's good, that's good. This is. Wait. Okay. Did I already try to get that one? No, right? That's a lot of lava, though. Probably wouldn't even want to go there if I could. Yeah, it's probably. There, so I won't worry about that for now. Maybe I should take the purple. Before I do the... Right. This is for that. So I can ignore that. This is... Why is this one shiny? Did I already look at this one? Pretty close to that, actually. If I went back up through crates. Or, mm, it would be faster actually to the right. Imagine that I already looked at this, so I'm just kind of being dumb and forgetting. Okay. Wait, what am I? What am I missing here? Oh, was it like something right here? Maybe? Or in this obvious discolored one? Okay, so that's that's it. Good to know. Um, it's worth it just to uncover the block so that I can look at it later when we know what those things are, I think. Did that, did that. Don't care. So this is shining because of that. No other shiny things, right? No. So we could take the purple, maybe, since we're kind of close to it. And But I only really want to do that if there's a reason to go here, besides the obvious take this elevator path that we kind of unlocked. No, we didn't unlock that. Wait, where's the thing? This one. Yeah, this is the, the obvious forward path that we should be taking when we want to progress the story. Can't do that because cold. It'd be kind of cool if... Oh, what's fast cursor, actually? 
Okay. Oh, you hold it and it goes faster. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, um, it'd be kind of cool if like you could toggle between types of blocks and then like fast swap between them. You know what I mean? Like say that I wanted to see all bomb blocks and then like I'd be able to toggle and like click through between them to like quickly go around to places and maybe see if I had gotten something or not. That'd be really helpful. It'd be a really good feature actually for a Metroidvania. More fall launcher. Would exit me here, which doesn't do me much since I've already got everything down here. Don't care about that. I'm just looking for any things that we couldn't get before because crap thing. There's this speed booster block. I that's got to be more fall though, like. I suppose like theoretically maybe right here we could get enough speed and then we'd have to run up but then I, I really don't know probably this area is probably like something to get us that maybe um, so I'm gonna ignore it for now grapple swing point oh there might be something over here. So that's the big room. And it is actually right near the purple. And I am still relatively close to the purple, so... Why don't we go there? Just a little ball of happiness and joy. Getting to play. My favorite game right now. It's my shitty song. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming to the TED Talk. You remember when TED Talks used to be good? I miss those days. Like, I remember TED Talks used to not come out that often. And when they did come out, they'd be like concentrated, like 15 minutes or so of like really interesting information. I think the last time I looked at the TED talk, it was not interesting. It was like, just vapid. And just someone listening to themselves talk to an audience and moving their hands a lot <laughs> with their PowerPoint slide and their clicker. With like vaguely motivational speech stuff. I mean, maybe that's what it was all along and it was just interesting more so when it was new. But I don't know. Maybe it was just like, you know, young. Young and impressionable or something, I guess. That that looked deadly with it like an angle that like that. Did I just go the wrong way? Yes I did. Yeah, sometimes you just start running off. Wait, no, this is the only way I can go. Oh, shit. Oh, it wasn't right next to it. Unless... Is there, like... Oh, there is! That's something that David Jaff would never figure out. Or however you say his last name. In case you don't know, uh, that is the person who is currently being disparaged on the internet for sucking at Metroid. Or, but not, not like specific because he sucks at Metroid. Because no one really cares if you like aren't good at a Metroid game. They care if like you're supposedly a game journalist slash game designer, and you bitch about that Metroid Dread has bad game design because you couldn't figure out the baby puzzle. Actually, do I even need to? No, we can just do this. It would be good to be smart and like able to do that, but for now, let's take the easy way. Please and thank you. Nothing special here. Um, ooh, but there is something special right down there, which is right beneath me. Let's go there. Hello, magical thing. What are you? Nothing? Just a hidey hole? 
Oh, you're definitely something. A shortcut? It's a way above the pitfall. I think it's just a shortcut. But, I mean, that's not really much of a shortcut. Oh, wait, but these are pitfalls, so you probably you couldn't go through them. So this is the only way to, like, quickly double back. That's nice. That's a save really easily, so I'm thankful. But yeah, um... David Jaffe. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can find that tweet real quick of his. Because that's what everyone was kind of making fun of and whatnot. Um, David Jaffe. I'm gonna find a million people. Yeah, yeah, you know, telling him he's an idiot. Um, so what he's complaining about is uh, is this. Uh, uh, so he's complaining about about this, right? Uh, sorry that the picture is so small. Here I can make it bigger. Um, so. He's the game designer, so he's complaining about this because he's talking about the map right here, which again, maybe he, it might be hard to see, right? Talking about the map and that to go up to that area above where he's marked A, he sees the map and believes that it's an indicator that you come to it from the right side, right? Which is reasonable. Like, I, I do agree that if I was just looking at this map, then I would assume that I get to the top from going that way, right? That said... The way that you actually get up here, right, is, uh, well, yeah, let's see here, if I can find here. I think this is the room, right? So what you can see here in this person doing their stuff, right, is that right, right here, there's an, there's an alien, there's an enemy right there. So when you go to shoot it, as this person does, he blows away the hole, right? And there you go. So apparently when, you know, this lad did his thing, he didn't kill it that way. He missed it entirely or he killed it when it was like over this way or something, perhaps. I don't, I don't know, but he got confused and I guess gave up playing the game here is what, why people were like thinking he's such a moron. Um, but he gave up playing the game there entirely and swapped to play Castlevania. <laughs> so people have been giving him shit over it. Because, like, he's a game designer, so he's complaining that it's, you know, hard and difficult and that he couldn't get it. So he's blaming the game, basically. Oh, hey, we're back here. All right, hold on. Let me, we'll go do this story bit. Just let me check real quick. Is there any other grapple blocks that I should theoretically go poke around at? This is another shortcut that leads you here. That leads you there. That theoretically lets you go there. But that's all just more shortcuts. So I don't think I need to go do them. There's that, but we'll ignore it for now, sadly. Um, this is another, another little helper. Wait. All right. Um, I still can't get this, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I think we need the, the speed ball or boost ball or whatever they're going to call it in this game. Unless maybe we want to get a boost ball when we will just be able to like use the um the this this thing the dash maybe we'll, we'll be able to use that as the ball because that would also work one, one second sorry these are oh okay I was thinking that I should try to latch onto these with the grapple beam, but never mind. They're just enemy spawners that happen to be blue. But I mean, I get it. Like, 
like if you didn't know that you know if you tap the button to jump she jumps like this right if you hold the button she jumps a lot higher like that's a a normal nintendo thing i feel and like kind of a normal metroidvania 2d platformer literally every single game but i believe that either him or some other person also complained about that because the very first or the second room maybe you have to do that in order to get out so some people you know can really start the game and there is no tutorial in that section right there like that's before the very first tutorial i believe so i get why some people have been like complaining and i also think that there is a little bit on the other side like a little bit of fanboyism on uh like people maybe overlooking a few things like for example like this game has been despite you know the fact that it is metrovania i have felt like i've been being pulled by my noise by my nose a little bit like you know like i'm double backing and collecting things right but there is definitely always a kind of clear path forward or at least in these early areas hmm. we're in a like chosen warrior area we're getting closer to our angry Chozo boy. Maybe we'll get a rematch with him. But I mean, like... Sorry, let me, let me finish my thought because I don't think I did. Um, you know, there are people who have, like, kind of looked past that a little bit. Because I would say that that's, like, not that great, right? That other games do do it, like, better in, you know, giving you that freedom for that. There is an energy tank right there that you definitely get going around. Hold on. So, how would you do this? There's not, like, hidden things. There is, um, there's that. Can, you can't, uh, can you evolve? No. I don't think I can wall dash after I do that. Oh, no, you can. Um, could, could you cease doing that? Is there a way for me to destroy that launcher? Maybe not. Oh, you know what we could do? <laughs> if I don't get murdered by this thing repeatedly while doing this. Hey, no following me. <laughs> Come on. You can't not be amused by the fact that that works. Oh god. Okay. Good, good, good. good. That's fun. This has a really good range, the grapple beam. Sorry, I'm just in the habit. Let me do it from here again. It gives you like the right the right angle and momentum. Ooh, cutscene? No, Emmy Zone. With the shutter pop. Ooh, I, I don't like this setup. Ooh, ooh, there's a thing. Okay. It definitely feels like there's something. There you go. Hold on. I don't know. Oh, that's an Emmy valve. Ooh, I was shooting that. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, I'll try to get that later, I guess.
Ooh. Oh, what's this? Uh, you, you okay, Samus? Whoa, what? Oh fuck. Hey, douche, I was I was looking at that. Some someone has control of it? Oh. Holy fuck a chozo. And not one that's like encased in metal. An actual Chozo. <laughs> Again, body language. Anaman Henki Maradis. Pisalakuta Gili Fokha Hesana. Gili Chozo Man Faragai Atasen Maguris Ashka Beg. Ninu Gamara. This explains the mother, the mother brain looking things and everything. Explains the extra side as all. Just probably it's something to do with what he did at the beginning. Explain the pokey bit. 
आना खबर की सारी बीस Entire map just moved. Uh. Oh, you piece of shit! Is that a space pirate? Oh, you fuck! Yes, that's a space pirate. Give me your wave beam and your ice beam. Give. Supposed to run right now. That works. Ah, okay. So parry and then hit him in the chest. Wow, my my energy is garbage. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we can do better, but also. Cool, cool cutscene, story, and Samus was speaking to Chorizian. I, I don't know what to call that, but <laughs> the chorizo, chorizo, <laughs> the chorizo language, este español, um, the um, the thing. Oh wait, hold on. Apparently, I did see something over there. One, one, one second, please. Oh, it's a uh, more power bomb or something. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna watch the entire cutscene, but I do want to see this like interesting tablet. So this is about him sending those dudes in to fight. I assume. What's on the right hand side though? <laughs> Here's what that is though. Like that's that's something else. Like I mean, the purple thing there. I don't know what that is. But I mean, the Emmy keeps crashing through, and the Emmy is purple. So the M that Emmy probably has the gravity beam, is my guess. Not gravity beam, uh, the gravity suit. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to watch the entire thing again, but... And it's, it's hard to time these things. Ouch. Why am I, uh, why am I doing worse this time? Hmm. Yes, I, I, I know. Thank you. He's already destroyed the three of my bars. I mean, I know we're weak to ice, but still. I mean, it makes sense. The space pirates, you know, have dealt with Samus for a long time. Also, we now know how to pronounce Samus' name if, if we speak uh, Chozo to her. Because he said Samus Aron. <laughs> Uh, I think that was a six. <laughs> that was a successful block. Just didn't feel like it.
that was not a successful one, but... That was way too early. I wonder... So, I wonder if you're supposed to fight him, or if you're supposed to be trying to run away at all. Okay, the door is not open, so I'm gonna guess no on the runaway. That worked pretty well. Why am I so, so terrible at this? My brother just texted me to remind me that Space Ishtar is tomorrow in FGO. He's excited. I mean, I'm excited for Calamity Jane, honestly. Cute archer. So, can I just not block that? Because <laughs> he has two different he has two different melees. He has the one where he slices the ground a bit, and then he has the uh, like the over the shoulder smackdown that seems to be much more parryable. So I wonder if I just can't block that one. It is oh wow, well there's one I wanted to block. But that had the same wind up too. Wait, what if I. It's blue, his core, right? Or no? Maybe I can grapple beam it. I, I just want to try to grapple beam your chest. Please, just just once before you kill me. Let me let me let me do it. Nope. This game is really forgiving, though. Honestly, like even though I'm dying over and over again, the fact that I start right here, like it's it's a good checkpoint. Also, that that hit me. Oh. <laughs> I 
Maybe I should try like um Ouch, okay, I can't dash through those. Good to know. Wait. That's kinda neat. I didn't realize I could dash underneath them like that. I'm more about like, right now I feel like I'm more about experimenting and trying to figure out his weird patterns and like see what works and what doesn't work against him that I am actually trying to do the fight. Like the fact that I actually slid underneath him was interesting to me. Maybe that that's probably the way you're supposed to be dodging that actually. No to that. Just just wanted to know. Again, I think. Going over him works well for that. Actually. Oh, that's so cool that you can slide underneath it even though I got smacked down in the face after. But God, <laughs> it's satisfying when you do something like that, dodging the ice shot. So he'll do a follow up with that if you do that. Because he did that the same way last time. So if I do. Oh, damn. I really wanted to do that. Come on, charge your shot. Do that and then block. Yeah, there you go. Okay, he still hit me, even though I managed to get up more. So I think you really have to do B behind him. Ooh. Oh, I didn't have. I didn't have any Eon because I just used it. Okay, but that that would be a good strategy though, like get him to do his charge shot. Slide underneath the counter. To open him up for attack. I, I, I kind of want to watch this again. I know it's not like super exciting to see a cutscene that we already saw, but... I, I, I want to. So I'm going to. <laughs> Like, is she in pain right there? Or is something else? Or is she getting mad? And like, clawing her hand up? Because that's like... Honestly, it would make sense to me if, uh, if like, when she's angry she doesn't necessarily ball her, like, hand into a fist but puts her hand out like claws, considering that Samus was raised by Chozo who have claws and that's probably how they would show their anger. Like, she would learn that. But, I don't know. It could just be something else entirely. Also, I like the way that she, like, slumps in this. Like, oh. Okay, then. <laughs> also, where's that Emmy gone to? How come, how come the Emmy can't help me? Also, like, <laughs> the last time I was watching this cutscene and watching his mouth move, I was honestly surprised at uh, how slappy 
his his bottom lip is his, his bottom beak is like I, I thought a bee made of harder material because I mean listen to the Chozo language right you have to wonder or you know think that they must have come up with like these fake words and everything that they have here taking into like taking the beak into account for, like how a creature with that kind of thing would talk maybe also i can't tell is samus's skin exposed on her neck or is that just part of the suit See, like that guy? Like, is, is that her skin? Or is it just normal, like, cloth? Or whatever her suit's stuff is made of? Because it's not white like the other bits of her, like, exoskeleton. I assume that her suit is entirely contained considering she can be in space with the dust, so it's probably not her skin. Also, the lighting and the textures are having a time on there, like the textures. It's kind of weird. Blame the switch for that, I suppose. Honestly, the reason why I wanted to watch this cut is because I want to, I want to listen to him say her name again. So do you think those feathers are just part of his robe, or do you think they're actually his feathers? Yeah, the Emmy isn't here anymore. Oops, dashed a little bit too low. Whoosh! Bam! Yeah, you fucking missiles, yeah! Oh shoot, I missed my chance though. Okay, here we go. Slide. Oh, I didn't press anything. Okay, nice. That was my bad. Humbug. 
do 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 How much damage is this guy doing though? So I have I have full health entirely. I, I know that Samus is weak to ice. Like that's kind of, you know, a thing because Metroids. Right? I just want to know like how much each of his moves hurts me. If at all possible. Oh god. Like 80, holy shit. This doesn't help that I uh I miss half my shots. God, I, I need some I need some protection against the ice. Not, not enough room for that. What if I, what if I bomb him? Missiles, why won't you die? <laughs> oh boy. <gasps> Eat a bag of dicks. Eat it! Eat the missiles! And then cease to exist, please. Um... Yeah, there, there's not like a, a secret way out, is there? Oh boy, that's gonna hit. Got him! Holy shit, that space part sucked. But Chozo, friend. Damn it. <laughs> also, wait, what? Okay, so we dropped through here and then got attacked by the enemy, I assume, through here and then walked with our new friend over here. Robot chose a soldier. Oh, oh, that wasn't a space pirate. Okay, never mind. I, I now I'm less concerned about how difficult that was. But also, poor dude just, just dead there. Not that we can really do much, right? Like, it's not like we could give him a nice burial or anything like that, but, you know. We're still in the Emmy area, aren't we? Or, no, we're just outside of it. Cool place though. Ooh, hello. Hold up. Uh, yank. Oh. Oh. Plus. Plus inside. Oh, we can do this to go through those. We can go back to that other place and get missiles now. I see frostiness coming through there. Yep, dope. Ah, oh, you bitch. So, what's going on here? A speed booster? Okay. So... We use the speed booster up though, so... 
You probably, once we can go over here, this looks long enough. Like, use this, grab the speed booster, fall down, and then do your best to go over, I guess. Oh, hello. Another thing. Alternatively, of course, we could probably head this way. That's a really, really tiny Emmy area. Oh, oh, it's all connected to this massive one. Never mind. I'm debating right now in case you can't tell whether or not I want to take the obvious elevator over here. Although it's not like super obvious because if I hadn't hopped up there, I would never have seen that. So. All right, where'd he go? Arrhenia. Back down to Dairon. All right. I'll bite. Get in the tube. It's like going to the bank. Putting in a little paper slip and then getting your money back out. Vacuum tube. That's what it is. That's what it reminds me of, though. The little containers. I haven't done that in forever. Most of the time I just go to the counter if I'm in a bank or, uh, or just use an ATM to get cash. Ah, okay, we're here. Ooh, in the network room. Hey, Adam. You want to chat about the Chozo we just met? Uploading data. Explain well. We now know why the Emmy are pursuing you. Sam is Aaron, Raven beat Lord you here. He wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within you. I have confirmed that Quiet Road has deactivated all oh, the data. Yeah. You should now be able to reach the surface unthreatened. The loop Quiet Road opened is in Berenia. Return there immediately. No. <laughs> I will go back and go explore that other Emmy area then. First, pop open that. Um, this is for Vernia? Yeah. So these will be where we go next time. Up to this one. So maybe the. Actually, definitely the top one. Because we can get another energy part here. Which I think will complete the set. So we'll use the top one when we do go that way. Which will be easy because it's the closer of the two. But the Emmys are aren't active, so we can go explore that other one and maybe get a new ability or something. Unless we run into a dead end, in which case that would be you know a bummer. But that's okay. It would be a learning experience. Do 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 do. I wonder if there's, there's Chozo on the wall and everything. I mean, it makes sense, but... Wait, why are there fish? Weird air fish. He, he really is deactivated. I can get back up there if I wanted to. Or no, I can't because of pitfall. Never mind. Oops, wrong 
aufpassen. How did I do this, like, the first time, last time? Like that. That's how we did it. Weird angry fish. Check out the angry team. Radio had some. So I'm said, I don't, I don't really listen to Radio that often anymore. I did listen to their newest one that came out, like, a month or something ago. And that was, that was definitely Radiohead. Like weird fishes and everything off that album. I don't remember what the name of the album's name is. If it is Weird Fishes or something, it's probably something different. But um, the album that Weird Fishes is on. That whole thing, that whole... <sighs> <clears throat> that whole thing is very much, uh, like, it's just depressing music. <laughs> like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's, it's depressing music. Same with, like, Elliot Smith and all those. Like, that's what I think when I think of Radiohead. Because at that period of my life, I listened to a decent amount of Radiohead, and I had a friend who listened to a lot of Elliot Smith, unfortunately for him. And, yeah. Not that Elliot Smith is bad, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying that it's just like depressed music, honestly. Like, I, I don't feel like you listen to Elliot Smith if you're happy, you know? He's, he's not really the go-to for that. So we need to go down into... We can do that. Wish I could get this. Oh wait. I'm sure some amount of trickery might actually work, but right. I don't want to go all the way down, just middle of the way down. I suppose that opens. Oh. oh god, there's a thing trying to shoot me. Yee! This way, right? Yes. Ooh, we could... I could have stopped by there, though. Pop up on that for fun. Meh. Let's not. Since I know I already have the item, like, that came before it, it's, it's fine. Making sure there's nothing like glowing right here that I might want to explore. Be fun if you could bust through it or something. Wasn't worried for a little while. You know how on the map there's um, the pieces of the map are definitely like faded out a little bit here and there? I kind of wonder if 100% map completion, if that is a thing for like any kind of uh, reward at all, is one if it exists and two if uh, 
but it's a massive pain in the ass because of, like every single tile counts for it or something, you know? So, I mean, just look at the, like, you know, these are all happy and explored while these are technically, like, unseen, kind of. Hold on a second here. What's, what's, what's this right here? It's yellow. You know what yellow means, right? Nothing. That's what it means. <laughs> go, go, gadget laser! Yeah! 100 more energy. How nice is that? Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's how you pop that open. Oh. Let me pop up on that shortcut too. Oh, you can do it either way. That's nice. We got an energy part for our trouble. Cool. Um, before I go to the obvious... Okay. I know you must love hearing me say that. <laughs> before we do the obvious thing, let us first go on a gigantic side quest. I can't help it, though. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, that's that's along the way. We can definitely go get that. That's just a shortcut. Although I haven't apparently touched this bit, so maybe it's not just a shortcut. It might be worth going there. It's not that far away. I mean, it's decent. It's like literally the farthest away from that save as I could probably get, but it's probably pretty fast to get there, though. Yeah, you know, on the way down. Enjoy your bomb. Hi, Adam. Attack doesn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping against these things. Uh, I can. Yeah. Oh, never mind. We can't open it from this angle. Unless. Nope. Too bad. Alright, so never mind. It's kind of sad. Alright, so plan B, though. Is it just a bunch of water down here? Is that what it was? I feel like that's that's what's going on down there. It might actually, it might actually be causing some slight issues for ourselves here. But then again, I have the grapple beam now, so maybe not. Yeah, because now we can... Well, we can go there before, I guess, technically, but... Alright, just map position. Not that it does like a million damage, but 
Mm. I want to come down. That's not the right way. But this is right. Yes, it is. Um, open. Oh, yeah, that's right. But why? Why must you make me go the long way around? Wait a minute. Oh, that's, that's not the long way around. Yoink! Thank you! Okay, so now we have a shortcut. To here. So, you can get out faster, I guess. Which is a good thing. Also this, which is handy. This whole section. So there's something... Something cool here, somewhere. I just don't know why yet. Oh, you know what we can do? We can do that. We can't use it underwater, right? Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. I'm gonna look over there real quick, see if that grapple beam can do anything. Like, is it just for... Actually, well, I mean, I can't go through the green thing yet, still, but. Aha! Speed booster! I'm trying real hard here to get that middle one. <laughs> it's just not working out for me. There we go. I can't use the speed booster in the water, so. Okay, so that's handy. And whenever we get whatever greeniness can open that, then we'll have that at our disposal, I guess. I wonder if you drain it or it's just the gravity suit. Like it's gonna be either drain or gravity. So that we can use like the bottom down there to speed boost. Alright. So, you know, like no no new item but new blocks on the map. Which is worth plenty in my mind. Because knowing is half the battle. Hmm. Oops. So there's probably like a missile or something equally interesting about that. I do wonder. If you have a speed boost when you go into the water, do you keep it or do you lose it? There you go. 
Let's go and uh, let's go do the thing. Again, looking around. See if I can spy anything weird or interesting that I should be trying to use. I hate this and I'm losing so much health to it, holy shit. Okay, one, one less annoyance. Okay. Ammo recharge. I, I, I would like all the charge. I need energy because apparently I suck at this game. At the like, babby enemies. Please. Uh, let me go to the other side again real quick. I didn't use the the flashy move. The flashy move before. Though then again. Aha! Oh, I do love it. The random, you know the gamer instincts, as it were, of like, that is a suspicious, suspicious thing. If I was a game developer, I would have put something there. Oh look! There it is! <laughs> you know, it's a good thing. Oh, we're getting a map. Right? Or a, a planet map? Yes. So it's probably this one that I want, right? Because the whole point is to try to get back to the ship, maybe? Uh, I feel like I'm doing okay here. 76, 68. There's no way the Emmys are staying offline though, just saying. Like, they're, they're gonna come back on. Oh, and now we get to do this. Um. Excuse you. I 
I assume his butt is like extremely vulnerable. As you've probably guessed by now, um, I'm like mildly debating about if I should keep going. Yep, they're belly. Super, super vulnerable. What's the point of that shuttle? There's gotta be, yeah, there's something more. Huh. Okay. Oh, you. Okay. So I gotta get over there. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 what's going on? <laughs> oh, that's worth it. Plus 10. So it's, it's been two hours, and that's how, how long I normally like to do these things. I did start really early, but I also didn't have dinner. So I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer because I, I really like this game. And you know, it's not too late. Let's get that. Oh, you can. Yeah. God, they get real angry after you pull off their top. I suppose that makes sense. Uh. Nice. Also, interesting uh, decorations. Weird tentacle creature. Good. Yeah. Excuse you, I am busy opening shortcuts. You need to leave me alone. Huh. Look at that. Easy. Another shortcut. Down to a save point. I will now happily use. Hi Adam, just checking back in, making sure you're still okay, like computing whatever it is you compute when you're not helping me. I hope, <laughs> I hope Adam doesn't go uh, like hal on us, you know, considering we've been hooking him up to the entire facility this entire time. I doubt he will, but like, imagine. Totally get some speed boost there. If we wanted to. Do we want to? I don't know, probably not. But we could. Also, I like that the diffusion beam lets us shoot people from below. Does make our lives slightly I don't know about these tentacle things. I don't like the looks of them. Okay, so that gets us all the way over there. Um, ooh, hello. What do you got for me? Energy? Cool. Um, can I actually hit this from here at all? No, not really. It's just like, it's growing out of the vent. Right there. It's 
So this place is just overrun by weird stuff. up here. Um, could you, could you not? You know, I was gonna leave you alone. Ooh, one of those things. Okay. Probably drops us down in there. Hi, mind, uh... Wanna eat me? Okay. Ooh, cutscene? Nope. Not yet. Gravity suit time, maybe? After we fight some horrific the uh, tentacle creature. Oh, that's a giant sphincter. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, it has an obvious uh weak point, I guess. Hmm. Why is one of them red? Can I do something with this red one? Or maybe I need to be concerned about that one more, perhaps? Hmm, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna die. Oh, that's cool. I'm just curious, like, what is it? Oh, and you can't touch it. Okay, his face is actually protruding, you can't just run by it. So that's also good to know. Are we going to start in that little room? Oh, right here. Okay. Works for me. Again. Ugh. The game is very generous. Ouch. Okay, fine. I'll shoot you like a normal person over here, I guess. Wait, that's... What do you see? Oh. Oh, oh, we gotta do. Gotta go to the other side. Yeah, I think that's what we're supposed to do. Because the he's in the way right there. I, try, I saw it. Figured that there was something else you had to do. So there's another grapple point over that that we probably need to grab onto in order to get over there in time. Okay, well that works. I'm upset. Unless, did I just miss it entirely? Did his mouth open during that time? Oh, oh wait, I think maybe I see. Maybe you need to shoot into him. From the top here. Or not. Or, or not. That's also fine too. I'm 
maybe maybe you are supposed to fall on him and like counter down. I don't know. See, at first I was thinking that he has that um, slightly purplish opening on top of his head or mouth thing. I was thinking maybe I need to put a missile into it. Ooh, or maybe a bomb. Let's try bombs. So there, are, there are all these holes everywhere. But I mean, his obvious weak spot is the thing inside the mouse, so we have to figure out how to open it. It could just be like a sequence thing, like hit him from both sides and then he'll open it maybe. But I don't know. Or maybe... Maybe we can... Can I latch onto him? Again, maybe we could use the grapple beam like on him. Or actually, can I? Can I? Can I grapple these? No. Well, we are not doing too well with the health. How did I even manage to get over there before? Let's see. Not bombs. Can't use the speed booster. I'll let you go above him. Maybe he'll just stay down longer the more I do this. Like maybe on the third try he'll uh, something new will happen. Plus, can can the diffusion hit him? Actually, like through his mouth? No. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so what is he grabbing at the top of the screen as well? Like he he reached up and put his puts his hand into those. Or what? Not really hands, but you know what I mean. Can I... can I grab his tentacle? Like instead of shooting it, if I use the grapple beam on it repeatedly? Can I, can I pull it out? What do, what do I need to do to him? That's my question. Because getting on the other side didn't really do anything before either. Oh. But there must be something else on the other side, otherwise they wouldn't put the thing there for you to like, you know, use. Right? It's 
suppose there's any way for me to speed this up, huh? Maybe just like jump and go? Just, just take a bunch of damage? Okay. That, that also works. Here, we'll try to bait him and put the red one there. What do you want me to do? Oh wait, is that oh 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 okay. Oh, I see. Oh, disgusting. Oh, and then go go down and then shoot into it. Right? Okay. Yeah, I, I see you. Oh god, he's disgusting though, isn't he? That only pops up and I gotcha. I didn't even notice it that it was shiny before. Missiles. We got this. I had to figure out the mechanic and not be blind. Oh god, those are all coming after me. Ooh. I feel like if you had power bombs, you just hop right in there and let them rip. Oh no, he's sending out two. Shoot, did I not get- oh no, I got- okay. Actually, maybe I should have tried the grapple beam on that. Maybe you could have pulled it out and done like some serious damage or something. I mean, he's dead, but... Shrilled up prolapsing this boss. Good. Ooh. Okay. That's intentional. <laughs> Drogia. Drogia. So did I just did I drain water from the area by chance? Maybe? That's what it feels like I did. <laughs> That's what it feels like I did. Really? I can't I can't use that to get out of the water? You are a punk. You know that? I'll try other nonsense. Try to be above the water, drop a bomb, get back up there, and then go. Doesn't seem to work though. I mean, probably need the gravity suit, so. But you are a douchebag. I mean, fine. Like, I get it. You, you want me to use. You want me to use this shit. Wow, I'm out of missiles. Would love that missile tank. 
Good to know the entire thing. Just like that. No, that's an energy recharge. I'll, I'll take that. The ammo one's on the other side, right? First. Oh boy. Hi. should be concerned, I guess. Yep. Because they're all like that. I am unsurprised. Fighting man. Right, he is probably fine, right? Base point. Before, before I go anywhere else, so this whole section probably grapple beam, but we need the green thing to get into it first. Okay. So where do you go, elevator? You go up, down, right, left, up. To Gavorum. Gavorum. We have found two new map areas today. That is some good progress. Surfacey. There's light. And water. What's with that kind of though? I don't like that. Are you gonna do some what are you doing? Okay. So I mean the up is the obvious. so I can actually make it back to my ship. Total recharge. Ooh, there might be an angry boss around here. Kind of the, uh, the vibe I get. Weird fighter creatures. Ah, that seals off our path down there. Reminds me of uh, the boss that gave us. What did he give us? The charge beam, maybe? In Metroid Prime, the big plant boss. Also, it's looking at. Okay, okay not what I expected. I was expecting a, a different kind of room. Also, interesting, like the fact that there's a big load screen there. I think it's a boss. They're, they're licking me. Okay. 
can't grab it. So. Hmm. <laughs> I always do the bomb jump right, but then forget about um forget about uh, unballing ourselves so that we can actually get up. Oops, and I pressed it twice back then. Oh, that works too. Ooh, this is worth getting. I kind of see what's on the other side as well. Green door on there. Okay. So yeah, over to that other area. This seems to be the, the place to go. I think I just want to find a save block here. Oh. Oh, now you tell me there's something fancy and cool here, huh? Douche. <laughs> we'll get back there eventually. Oh, oh, that's why. Oh. Fuck me in the hands. Nope. 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 We are trapped. An angry Chozo bot. I don't suppose you're like secretly easier than the last one because we are in a much more confined space. Must you know my weakness? Mm. <laughs> mm. Are you gonna do the thing? No god is gonna do that. First try. That's weird. You'd have thought that, uh, like being in a more enclosed area would have been trickier. But it seemed to actually have been to my advantage, weird enough. You know? I guess it's because it's easier to evade. I don't suppose you were guarding an item? Maybe? Nah, alright, fine. Ooh, but there's a secret here. So oh, there's a giant disgusting plant as well. Hmm. I assume the secret is down in there. Which doesn't seem particularly gettable at the moment. Oh, oh, you, your enemies. Okay. I would like to not die, like, death by a thousand cups. Hmm. Shot the ground all over the place, so. I'm gonna assume that for now, I don't know the way in. Any area, but it's okay. 
because the enemies are offline. Right? So everything's okay. Whoops. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that it goes active. I don't know, it's worse, honestly. I mean, I know they're inactive for now, but like, he's, he's gonna turn them back on. Like, there's zero doubt in my mind that uh, what's-his-face is gonna turn, turn those back on at some point, you know? by the corner of the room. Also, are you not gonna fight me? Oh, okay. Well, that's, there's no glass between us. I guess he did, like, release those weird things, but... Samus, you are approaching the surface. This area, Gatherin, appears to be an underground forest. The Emmy have been deactivated, but Ravenbeat still desires the Metroid DNA within you. I have reviewed the video log of your encounter after your arrival. You were no match for him then. You are no match for him now. It is true that you have recovered many of your combat abilities. However, my analysis suggests that you would not be a worthy adversary for him, not even at full power. Adam is very brutally honest, which I guess makes sense. He's a computer. One thing still eludes me. Why did Raven Beak spare you during that encounter? Something must have motivated him. I don't know, combat data? I kind of wonder if, like, instead of the Emmys, Raven Beak will, like, pursue us or something. That'd be kind of cool. Right. Ah, I, I, I hate being blocked out of things. Like, it's one of the reasons why I'm always so, like, retentive about it when I explore places and I try to go the wrong way first and everything because I want to collect everything. Because <sighs> I hate it when those things happen. So, I, I'm going to stop here, and we will see what's beyond that door next time, which will be tomorrow at 7.30. Because I like this game a lot. So, but yeah, they made a lot of good progress today. I think. Anywho, um, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, um, or rest of your day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Well, I guess weekend regardless, right? But just just have a have a nice time, I suppose. And I'm gonna go eat some delicious dinner. I made another slow cooker uh, lentil sausage stew business thing with some very strange sounding broth. It was, it's vegan or something, which wasn't why I got it. I got it because it said urban garlic, and I was intrigued. Well, creamy urban garlic, which sounded good, except for the fact that apparently vegans don't know what cream is, because it's not very creamy. So, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't raise my expectations of vegan food in general. Though I have had decent stuff before, but, uh, yeah, there's a reason I put sausage into it. Let's just go with that. Anyway. Have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whatever. I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great time uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. So, have a good one, everyone. And uh, remember, if, if Kiryu ever texts you this, you know what he needs. <laughs>